areas that are defined by one or more unique characteristics or certain patterns of activity are known as regions. Using regions allows geographers to reference multiple places at once without having to list every place inside the region. When talking about regions, there are three main types of regions that you want to understand. A formal region, also known as a uniform region, is an area characterized by common physical or cultural features. These features can include language, religion, political boundaries, climate, or land use patterns. Formal regions have clearly defined boundaries and can be identified and mapped. Now, when looking at formal regions, we can often observe different political, economic, cultural, and physical formal regions. For instance, countries' boundaries are an example of political formal regions. These these regions have their own governments, laws, and systems that govern the land. While a special economic zone is a great example of an economic formal region, these regions have unique economic incentives and regulations to promote investment from foreign industries and promote economic development in the region, such as the Shenzhen Special Economic Zone in China. We can see that the Shenzhen is an example of a formal economic region, while the country of China is an example of a formal political region. Now, we also have cultural formal regions, which are areas that have a common cultural trait, such as the French-speaking region of Quebec in Canada, which is a linguistic region region centered around language. Lastly, a physical formal region is defined by the natural environment, such as the Sahel region in Africa, where a similar climate can be found across multiple countries, or the Himalayas in Asia, which are defined by a series of connected mountains. Now, our next type of region is a functional region, also known as a nodal region. This is an area that is organized around a node or a center point, oftentimes based around specific economic activities, travel, or communication. Functional regions often see the different interactions, the flow of goods, ideas, or people all tend to gravitate towards the center point of the region. For instance, we can look at the urban hierarchy of an area where a large city is often located in the center of the region, with smaller settlements located around the larger urban area. The urban area creates a region acting as the economic and cultural hub of the area, as seen here when looking at Kristaller central place theory. We can also see functional regions created by different transportation networks, such as airports, train stations, ports, or public transportation stations, such as subways or bus stops. All of these help facilitate the movement of people and goods between different places and act as a node for the geographic area they are located in. Or we could look at financial centers, such as Wall Street in New York, that serve as a financial hub for investment with the stock exchange. Lastly, we have a vernacular region, also known as a perceptual region. This region exists in the minds of the people and is based around their perceptions, feelings, and associations of a geographic area. These regions are hard to define since there is no set boundary. For example, what states are part of the American South? Generally speaking, people think of the South in the United States as having a common cultural identity, shared traditions, and also shared history. But the states that are included in the South vary depending on who you talk to. Now, whenever talking about regions, one general rule of thumb that you can use is whenever cardinal directions are used for a region, the region is most likely perceptual. So we can see that depending on the geographic area, human activities, flow, or the topic of discussions, regions can vary. But understanding the different types of regions allows us to quickly reference different places and better understand the world in which we live. Now, if you need more help with regions, don't forget to check out my ultimate review packet for AP Human Geography or my Discord server as well. You can find a link for both of those in the description of this video. Plus, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mr. Sin, and I will see you next time online.